Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about phone reception in the boonies. I did a short about this a while ago and it was really popular but I only had one minute and it just wasn't enough to cover it. So today I'd like to spend a little more time, not too much time though, and cover a few of the various options. And there's a new kit on the block which I think is amazing. I'm going to talk about that at the end. But for starters, you need to understand the concept of MIMO. MIMO means multiple in, multiple out. So most phones these days will have at least two antennas. Starting with 4G, LTE, and 5G, the technology they use is to use more than one antenna and then combine them for the best signal. So our old school 3G and before was a single antenna. And so MIMO is really important, but when you're way out in the boonies really far from anything, it's often that you only have access to one antenna. So the MIMO doesn't really come into play. That's where the cell phone booster comes into play. And you've probably heard various things about these. This is a Wii Boost which I'm holding upside down, like the Bible. These are quite powerful, but they have a mixed reputation. And the reason for that is often people try to use them in a situation where there's more than one antenna and they don't work that well because this is only a single antenna. But if you're way out in the boonies and there's only one cell tower that this thing is seeing, this is probably gonna do a lot better than your phone. And that's what people don't realize. So the concept of MIMO is very important. And I'll say right now, it's really hard to determine what technology is best for you when you're out in the boonies. What I do is I use an app called speedtest.net on my phone, and I can test the various technologies to determine which one is best. I've been in situations where the cell phone booster is awesome. I have an antenna on the roof, and I've actually put it on a swivel. I did a video about that, how I did it. It doesn't really matter that you put it on a swivel, but that way I use a longer four-foot antenna, which is too high to drive around with but it gives me a little extra height if I'm camping somewhere that maybe has some blockages. But most people just put on the short antenna and stick it on top of their van. And so I bought the uh, one that was kind of designed for truckers because they like to hang the antenna on their uh, cab, of course, because they don't want to hang it on the trailer because they change trailers. So I use a higher antenna uh, because the rearview mirrors of the truckers usually lower than the cab. When you go with that technology, you get a couple of things. One is it operates on 12 volt instead of 120 volt. So it's uh, compatible with a cigarette lighter. And then you get this smaller portable antenna to hook to the device. And when you do this, it's really important that you keep your phone very close to the antenna. And what I usually do is put my phone right on top of it. And then this secondary antenna is supposed to be at least 10 feet away from the top of the outdoor antenna. So I put the outdoor antenna towards the rear of my van and I usually use this toward the front of the van and then I keep this very close. And I've been in situations where this works very well. I've got to interrupt this program with an update, and it turns out apparently WeBoost like my idea of a swivel antenna, and they now offer a swivel kit, and it's called the Drive Reach Overland. So if you want to skip the whole truckers thing, you can just buy that one, and it'll get the job done. Well, the other thing to realize about a cell phone booster is, oftentimes the upload speed is going to be a lot better. There will be situations where. Your download speed is actually faster with your phone or the same or comparable, but when you go to upload, the cell phone booster is far stronger. My point is that there's gonna be mixed reviews about the cell phone booster. You're gonna hear people say, well, I put on a cell phone booster and it's actually slower than it was with a phone, and that definitely can happen in a MIMO situation. So just keep that in mind. This is a specific application. If you're somebody who hangs around with a lot of different urban areas, like back east versus out here in the west, there may be a lot of towers. You just don't have a good signal because you're in a depression, but there's towers all over the place. The cell phone booster may not work for you. You may be better off with a multiple antenna situation. And there is another technology where you can use a router, uh, like a Pep Boys, I think it's Pep Boys, and it has four antennas, and those work well in MIMO situations. But way out in the desert, if there's only one antenna anywhere near you, it's not going to work that well. So that's the gist of that. There's another technology, and the correct name for this is a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is a refurb that I found on Amazon for $60, and you can pay anywhere from $200 to $400 for these when they're new. And the other thing to keep in mind is this hotspot works exactly the same as the hotspot on your phone. You can put it next to your computer, and you can fire up your computer, hook it up to hotspot, and then it works. It's going to vary by what kind of service you have. But for me, I got 50 gigs with my phone account, and I've got 50 gigs with this account. So once that's gone, then I have to use a very slow speed, which isn't very practical for what I like to do. And this is a Jetpack 8800. It's only 4G, it won't pick up 5G. So you might think now we're in 5G territory, so why would we buy a 4G? Well, when you're out in the boonies, there's no 5G. And if there is, Verizon will tell you, even if you're seeing 5G on your phone, it's not any faster than 4G. So these older ones are actually pretty good. And the reason is on the bottom, they have two antenna ports so you can hook up an external antenna to this. And I have one that I use inside both uh, antennas 
and then I can paste it on the window inside the van and that works pretty well. But you can also put a rooftop antenna and use this thing and this works pretty good. I've used this quite a bit but there's two um, issues with using your cell phone or your uh, cell phone auxiliary booster and that is that they have a limited gigabyte amount of data that you can run at high speed. This one gives me 50 gigs of high speed internet and once I use that up it goes into a, a, like it's kind of a limp mode. It's a very slow mode and so I have unlimited data but it becomes so slow it's almost unusable for any kind of uploading. My phone has the same 50 gig limit. This is an iPhone 13 Pro and it has the same limit. Now there's a new kit on the block I'm going to discuss in a minute but I want to mention one more thing and that's the Starlink satellite. I don't use it. People who are serious digital nomads and absolutely need to always have reception use this because it works pretty much anywhere as long as you have a view to the sky. If you're in a heavily forested area it may not work but you can usually find an open place. That's a great technology, but it's fairly expensive. Last time I checked, it was about $150 a month. Now, if you're making your living by being online, that's fine. But if you're like me and you just go out occasionally, then it may not be worth it. And I just try to make this other stuff work. So now there's a new kit on the block and I am really impressed with this. And this is a really good solution. That's this big box here. I'm with Verizon. See the little red check mark there. This is a home cellular internet and I was paying $80 a month for my home internet. When I was gone, of course, I couldn't use it. And then I had to use these devices to try to make it work when I'm on the road. The cool thing about these cellular internet devices is that you can use them at home for your home internet, and then you can take it on the road with you, and then you have internet while you're traveling. Now, Verizon sort of would prefer that you only use it at home, but so far they work on the road. And I hope they don't change that because for people like me who like to travel and then come home, I can just bring this puppy with me and use it on the road. And it's just awesome. It uses cellular technology. I think it's got two antennas built in maybe, or maybe it's four. There are online instructions how to take it apart, splice into the antennas, run some wires out, and you can run it up on the roof of your van, and you can run a MIMO antenna on your roof. And that might be the ideal setup. I haven't done that yet because it seems to work pretty well. In situations where I have weak signals, I just use the booster but you may be able to use this puppy just for everything. And I'm really impressed with this technology and I highly recommend it. I think they're charging only $35 a month for this. And this is generally cheaper than the internet you're gonna pay for at your home. And you can bring it on the road with you. I should point out that this one has its own line. I can't make or receive calls on this device. It has to have its own number. So I have to pay a monthly fee for that. Now, of course you have to pay a monthly fee for this, but you may be doing that anyway for your home internet. Now, this is not as fast as cable but I'm able to stream on my TV and I've never had issues with uploading or downloading. So if you're uploading videos or you're uploading stuff, your cable's not that fast anyway, and this is about the same. But in terms of downloading speed, these are generally slower than cable internet. If you're a gamer or you're doing really high res stuff downloads and you want to do it fast, then maybe you should stick with your cable or whatever internet fiber optic. But for my purposes, this works fine. I love this thing and I highly recommend it. I hope this was helpful and it's a little bit more in depth than the one I did before. Hopefully it will help you make your decision. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments or if you have any expertise on it that I'm missing out on, please do chime in and let people know what works. But I'm just calling out what works for me. I wanted to debunk some of the rumors about cell phone boosters and I also wanted to introduce this cellular internet option. Of course, if you don't have Verizon, you know, there are other companies that are offering this. So just check with your provider and see if they offer a cellular internet. And if they do and you like to travel, you may want to consider that option. If this was useful, please do like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.